Well, hello again. Uh, what I'd like to show you this time is a uh, collet chuck that I uh, made uh, many years ago. And it's been in storage for a long time and I've uh, finally got a laser that I can uh, uh, start using it again. Uh, it was threaded for an uh, inch and a half uh, uh, a threaded spindle nose. Uh, so, as I said, it's a collet chuck and um, what I use for collets are these bushings that are used to hold uh, sprockets and pulleys on in an industrial application. Now this uh, series is the SDS series and you can get them in sizes from half inch up to two inch in this series. And uh, the thing with these is, is they're not really that expensive and you can kind of consider them consumable. You can uh, bore them out to whatever size you need for uh, a specific odd job and if you have to do um, repeatable work uh, it'll hold each piece true every time. So <coughs> the chuck body itself is made of two parts. I've got this ring on here that uh, tightens the collet and uh, uh, the body is just screwed onto the um, uh, spindle of the lathe. Uh, the, there's a taper cut on here that matches the taper of the, uh, the bushings. And um, uh, uh, this one here, for example, I had used it at one time. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a, a small recess in here that I just cut out with a boring bar uh, to make some uh, specific thickness of washers and uh, you can put a washer in there clamp it down tight and you can face it off turn it over and face it off and have a, a perfectly smooth uh, washer to whatever thickness you desire for whatever you're working on uh, sometimes you need a, a, a bronze washer a steel washer it doesn't make any difference and because these uh, bushings you consider them consumable you bore it out for what you need it and put it away and another time you may bore it for something else or you may use it over and over again. Um, one of the things that needs to be done before you start using it as a collet is uh, where the bushing is cut right through I drill there and thread it so that I can put a set screw in there and that set screw prevents the thing from closing when you're boring it to whatever size you want to need it to be bored. Once you've got the, the size that you want, you take out the set screw and when you put the, uh, the tightening ring on, it um, allows it to squeeze and tighten on the part that you're working on. Now I put a very fine, very fine thread on this. so that I could uh, get it quite tight without uh, too much effort and um, somewhere along the line I lost the Tommy bars for it so I'm just going to use a couple of bolts uh, here for example just got a little piece of, of shaft we'll scrap shaft we'll put in there and as you can see it turns it's uh, you're able to turn it or move it in and out and uh, Tighten it up with the Tommy bars, and now it's in there solid, and you're ready to cut. This blade is one that I've been working on uh, a bit at a time, uh, kind of a a very rudimentary outfit, but uh, it's good for making small parts that uh, I'm going to need to make during this winter. And really that's all there is to it. When you want to um, 
to remove the, your your part. It's a matter of just loosening up the um, the uh, tightening collar. And uh, generally, what I do is I have a small brass rod that I can put in the back and just give it a little tap, and that'll that'll loosen it up enough that it uh, that it comes out. On occasion, if you put it really tight, well, you have to take this uh, this nut right off and uh, uh, use a, a screw to push the bushing out of the taper. In any event, uh, for some of you that like to uh, make your own stuff, or if you haven't got the funds to to buy a proper collet chuck, this thing works quite well for specific jobs. And uh, I hope that you uh, found it interesting and can maybe use this idea. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.